Hi everyone! Are you tired of slow boot up and loading times on your solid state drive? Well, today I've got a solution for you. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of upgrading to a faster NVMe drive while keeping your data and operating system intact. As you can see on the screen, the difference between SSD and NVMe is that SSD uses SATA interface and its transfer rate is only 500 megabytes per second, while NVMe uses PCIe interface offering the transfer rate up to 3,500 megabytes per second and above. Trust me, the difference in technology and speed is going to blow you away. In this video, we'll be using a powerful tool called Disk Genius to clone a 120 gigabytes Kingston SSD to a 512 gigabytes Team Group NVMe drive. Disk Genius Free Edition offers a range of features for backup, restore, and partitioning. And the best part is, it's completely free. So if you're looking to switch to a faster NVMe drive, this tutorial is perfect for you. But before we dive into the process, make sure you have both the SSD and the NVMe drive connected to your computer as shown in the diagram. Once you're set up, let's move on to downloading Disk Genius. To download Disk Genius, simply visit the official website at diskgenius.com download.php. On the download page, you will find the latest version, which is 5.5.0, updated in March 2023. We'll be using the free edition for this tutorial, but you can also upgrade to the standard or professional editions if needed. To ensure that the free version supports disk cloning, Click on Edition Comparison and check the features under Clone Disk and Partition. As you can see, the free version offers all the necessary features for our demonstration. Now, let's go back to the download page. You have two options, the installer, which allows you to download and install the software on Windows, or the portable version, which does not require installation. For the purpose of this video, let's choose the 64-bit portable version. Click on the download button to get started. Once the download is complete, unzip the file and you will find the Disk Genius executable. Launch the program by double clicking on the file. You're now ready to begin the cloning process. When Disk Genius starts, you will see the main interface with a list of connected drives on the left side. To clone the SSD to the NVMe, navigate to the tools on the menu bar and select the Clone Disk option. A new window will open, prompting you to select the source disk. Choose the Kingston SSD as the source disk and click OK. At this point, you may receive a pop-up message suggesting the use of the system migration function if you want to migrate the current system to the target disk and make it bootable. Since we're performing a Windows OS migration, click Yes to proceed. On the next page, select the Team Group NVMe as the target disk and confirm your selection. Now, on the following page, you have the option to set the partition size on the target disk. If you want to expand your Windows system drive or the C drive, you can do so by adjusting the partition size. Simply click on the partition and use the two direction arrow sign to resize it as needed. On the same page, you will find other settings related to what happens after the cloning process, such as automatically booting from the target disk or entering the BIOS. For manual control, let's choose the second option, allowing us to manually select the boot disk in the BIOS. Once you're satisfied with the settings, click on Start button to initiate the cloning process. A warning message will appear, informing you that all files and partitions on the target disk will be overwritten. Confirm your decision and proceed. You will be presented with a choice between Hot Migration and Reboot to WinPE. Hot Migration enables Windows migration to the target disk without shutting down the system, while Reboot to WinPE automatically restarts your computer to Disk Genius WinPE edition for the migration process. For this demonstration, we will proceed with hot migration as this genius starts copying data from the Kingston SSD to the Team Group NVMe drive. 
depending on the amount of data being cloned and the speed of your drives, the time required for the cloning process may vary. You can monitor the progress on the screen. After the cloning process is complete, you will receive a notification asking if you want to restart the computer. But before doing that, take a closer look at the GUID of the SSD and NVMe drives. The Disk Genius created a different GUID for the new disk, ensuring there are no conflicts with duplicate signatures. To verify that the cloning was successful, restart your computer and enter the BIOS settings. Ensure that the NVMe drive is set as the primary boot device. Save the changes and exit from the BIOS. It should boot from the Team Group NVMe drive. Once you're in the operating system, check that everything looks and functions as expected. Make sure that the C drive on the NVMe drive reflects the larger capacity of 476 gigabytes, indicating a successful clone. Also, Double check that Windows is activated and running smoothly on the new NVMe drive. Before we wrap up, I want to mention some cool features you can explore with Disk Genius. For example, you can back up the NVMe disk to an image file and store it on an external drive. Additionally, you can delete partitions on the old SSD and create new partitions for data storage. Congratulations! You have successfully cloned your 120GB Kingston SSD to a faster 512GB Team Group NVMe drive using the portable Disk Genius version 5.5 2023. Enjoy the increased storage and improved performance. And that wraps up today's video. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel to see our next video. Thank you for watching.